Gravity Air, Generator 1.1 Only using water, air, a heavy weight and a floating element to produce a reciprocal movement to drive an electric generator. By releasing air into the water, the density of the water falls and the weight sinks. The lower the density, the faster the weight sinks. The faster the weight sinks, the more energy is released. Compressed air is needed to create a low enough density, fast enough. We need a ratchet mechanism to drag the rope in one direction. It allows the weight to pull the rope down and not pulling the rope going up. A two-way ratchet could be constructed but it would increase the raising time of the weight and require an extra wheel at the bottom of the tank, limiting the distance that the weight can sink. The ratio between the weight and the floating element, is important for the amount of air needed to sink the weight. The distance between the knobs on the rope, is important for the torque the rope can produce on the pulley. The ratchet needs to fit in between the knobs and not to form or jam, due to tearing and wearing. The size of the pulley and which side of the pulley is biggest, matters to the torque on the generator. The torque is important because, when the generator is under load, a resistance emerges and it gets harder to turn the generator. An 850 kg weight sinking 60 cm in a second, can potentially produce 4000 watts. It depends on the efficiency of the generator and how low the density of the water can get. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing for more content like this.